So in today's video, we are doing a review of Supergoop. So there's a funny story behind this. So let me just get this out real quick. Is it a funny story? Or is it like an embarrassing story? I might as well start. <laughs> Long story short, so Supergoop added me on their PR list and I honestly, I, I like, I am genuinely didn't know. This whole time I really thought Supergoop was like sub-brand of Goop, you know, like as in Gwen Paltrow's company. So I just said it in the video <laughs> of my TikTok and my Instagram that like, Gwen, I admire you so much, you built this brand so big and turns out, uh, someone said this to me. <laughs> TikTok that Supergoop is not owned by Gwyneth Paltrow so yes I, I did mess up so I apologize for that and if Supergoop is watching this I do apologize uh, I absolutely had no idea sorry Helen I think she's the Hel Helen I think she's the CEO I apologize for that not like she's watching it but just say I'm so sorry <laughs> anyways now we that get that out Let's start our review. So these are some of the products that they sent it to me. Now that they will probably take me off the PR list, but here it goes. <laughs> Anyways, so let's get started. Um, so there's three products here. And if you guys are not familiar with the super good brand overall, is that like everything they make essentially is like a skin, like a SPF. Like that's just like their motto um, that they're you know, that, that's the products that they are produced. Uh, that's why I'm gonna get into it and kind of explain to you guys. Um, I would start with the oil. So this one is called Daily Dose Hydrosamide Boost and SPF. So this is like a face oil, they are calling it. Um, let me just check to see how much it is. So I, I know it's probably not gonna, okay, this is 46 bucks. Uh, okay, that's uh, pretty expensive. Um, the amount, it's not a lot, it's 30 mil, so it's a small amount, and this is SPF 40. So the thing I am confused with this is that like this is a face, like it's an oil, but it's also an SPF. So like why does it have to be an SPF in everything? So I, I'm a bit confused, but like this also doesn't mean that like you just use this as an oil like in your routine. Because I feel like the way they're advertising it is like they, they want you to build up your products like that. Like as oil, uh, like the oil has SPF in it. The other thing has SPF in it, so each one you get an SPF a little bit. Then on the top, you just actually apply the SPF, if that makes sense. Like SPF, 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 then the more SPF. Because they assume that most people don't apply enough SPF. I'm assuming because of it. But, so I'm a bit confused because I feel like these three things I received, essentially, they're all SPF, but in different format. That's how I see it. But I feel like the way they are advertising it is like, they want you to use this as like a separate product. And after this, you can apply moisturizer. Then after this, you can apply SPF. Like, I don't know. Like, I'm a bit lost with that. So let's, let me show you guys the texture. I mean, it is an oil, so. And I tried it off camera as well, just to see. Great, my camera's dying, love that for me. I'll switch to my phone afterwards. It smells like oil, honestly. So it's not like a fragrance fragrance, just oil. Do I like it? No. Uh, I personally just don't love oils, face oils, it's never been my thing. Although I have dry skin, so I should be liking it because it's good for making, it's good for my skin, I guess. But no, not a fan. I guess only, I mean, good thing about it is like it's SPF 40, so it's good protection, right? But like texture, I mean, it blends in nicely, but it feels, it's oil, so let's wait a couple minutes and to see how it's going to feel, but it doesn't feel great. Like, I don't love it personally, but okay, now it's like, it's drying off very quickly, so it's not like super, super greasy, but at the end of the day, it's an oil, so you should think about like how greasy it will feel. It doesn't feel as greasy as most face oils I have tried. It just, I don't like face oils, and I feel like most oils I have used is like beard oil, and still I'm not a huge fan, so don't love the format. But this one, I would give maybe 4 out of 10, like not my favorite, but let's try the next one. Okay, so this one is the Super Screen Daily Moisturizer. Um, so this is also SPF 40. Uh, let me just see uh, how much is this one, because I'm assuming it's going to be the similar price uh, range is going to be around here. Okay, yeah, very similar price range is $42, available at Sephora. So I would give to them point for that, like the 
packaging is cute really really cute so it looks like it's upside down which is kind of like that but you open it like this then this so let me just apply a little bit into my skin so the texture of the cream is actually like it's slightly oily like the smell I absolutely don't like it like I, I don't I don't like it at all um, I don't think it's like anything they added I think it might be from the product itself yeah I don't like it no I don't like it it, it, it is a little bit greasy as well which I'm assuming is mostly because of the okay I apologize my camera just died and now I'm recording on my phone love that for us it was not yeah, I, I don't like it. I really don't like it at all. It's just weird to me that like, why did they have to put like SPF and the moisturizer? Like, uh, I don't know. I, I'm so confused. Like, I, I'm really, really confused. I think oil one, I really, really didn't like it. This one, I would just, like, I would wear it. Because I feel like if it is just moisturizer and I don't have to wear moisturizer and SPF together, I can see myself using this. Smell is not. Like the oil was one thing, I just didn't like the texture. This one's, no, well, smell is now kind of gone. But when you first apply it, it has that smell, interesting smell. Like I don't think it's an added smell, like I don't think it's synthetic, that's something they added. But it's just, yeah, now it's not there, but definitely feels greasy. My hands feel greasy and I just washed my hands. Last product, which I think this is the one I'm going to give probably um, the highest score. That moisturizer I'm gonna give like maybe 6 out of 10. This one is the Unseen Sunscreen Broad Spectrum. Uh, this is also SPF 40. So this is the actual sunscreen. So it's not a product that's mixed with sunscreen. It is just a sunscreen. So I feel like I'm going to like this one more. Okay, so the reason I it, they say Unseen Sunscreen. So this is the invisible sunscreen essentially. So you guys will see that's what it looks like so it, it blends in from all the reviews also i mentioned and also i tried it off camera before it is oily pretty yeah oil texture which means it's moisturizing i guess so good for dry skin um but it feels oily at first right but afterwards like after a couple minutes it should be like it dries off quickly which let's wait so in case i mess up again um, because when I tried it off camera, <laughs> it did dry off pretty quickly. I was just smelling it. It has no smell. It's unscented. So and uh, it has very similar ingredients like the other ones, like uh, the benzone, um, all the other sunscreen, which is what's made up the sunscreen. Yeah. Okay. So it is. It dried off pretty quickly. Um, yeah. But yes, it's it is oily. I would say that. It doesn't peel. At the moment, we, we, we don't know, but maybe I'll update you guys because this is my second time applying it, but I heard from some reviews that it peels off after a few hours and you apply it again, it peels off. Hasn't happened to me, but I will record it later just to see if it actually peels off or not. Keep you guys posted. I think the price range in this one is also around 40 something and this is 50 milliliters. Um, or 1.7 ounces so not a lot you know um, for the price range like it's it's pretty small right it's, it is that's what I'm saying I feel like the price range wise all of these is like no like definitely out of um, that, definitely expensive like when you add these all up because technically I wouldn't add the oil personally because it's just the oil and honestly who uses face oils? No, I'm just thinking for to myself, like when was the last time I used a face oil? I honestly don't remember. Like I feel like I have definitely used it at one point, but I just don't think it's something that most people use a lot. So I wouldn't even consider adding that to your routine or any brands unless you absolutely need it. But I feel like moisturizer and SPF, so those things that make sense. But the, if you get this one, you don't have to get that one because this already has SPF and it's also SPF 40. But if you get this one, this is just SPF. Still moisturizing when it's an SPF, so I would rather get this one. But this is the only SPF one, so this one I would give like probably 8 out of 10, so I think it's decent. But all of the other products, I don't know, maybe they should just stick to SPF, so not put SPF in every one of them, because apparently they have put SPF in like vitamin C or other products. Um, that confuses me a little because I feel like most people would think that they just use that as a part of the routine then they 
add stuff on top of it. Like if you use the oil, then after oil you put moisturizer, then SPF. That's a bit confusing because at the end of the day, all of these, they're oils. Yeah, that's the oil. Um, they're all oils, I mean. <laughs> oh, SPF. That's an SPF, that's an SPF, that's an SPF. So these are all SPFs to me. I just feel like they're just all coming in different formats. Like this is SPF format, a little bit like gel-like. This one is oil format and this one is like cream format, but they're all SPF. That's what I would say. Um, I will add some clip here if there's a peeling. If not, that's probably the end of this video. Um, I will put the links down below if you, in case you want to get one of them. I feel like if you are looking for a moisturizer and SPF, I would just recommend this one, the moisturizer, because I feel like it's almost like you're getting two products for one price. Uh, but other two, I wouldn't personally necessarily recommend it. Uh, unless you're just specifically looking for a sunscreen, then just get this one. But the oil is definitely <laughs> not my favorite. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, sorry super group, but anyways, they're definitely taking me off the PR list I know that for sure for now because I messed them up with um, Gwen um, Hi Gwen if you're watching this, she's not, but I was just telling myself Anyways, this is the end of the video I hope you guys like this video, if you do, please don't forget to subscribe And um, I'll see you guys next week, yeah, bye guys <laughs>